is Chantel. I am Chuka the Barber's executive assistant, and I'm taking over the Rich Barber TV today, so I hope you guys are excited. Um, lastly, if you remember, he asked if you were living your ideal barber lifestyle. He said that he was, so we're going to go ahead in our barber shop and ask our barbers if they're living theirs as well. Antoine Dunn, also known as Dunn the Barber, the famous pomade guy. <laughs> um, so basically the question of the day is, are you living your ideal barber lifestyle? I have to say yeah. Yes. Yeah, I definitely have to say yeah. Okay. Um, before that I was working corporate for many years. Mm -hmm. um, other people told me when to go to work, how much money I can make, when I can go on vacation. And now I just do whatever I want to do. Hell yeah. <laughs> so this is Isaiah Ford, also known as Day the Barber. You may have remembered him from one of our um, previous episodes. He did an interview with Chuka. Um, so thank you for joining us again. Um, what, is the, what, is, what is an ideal, what is your ideal barber lifestyle? What is the day in the life of Isaiah Ford look like? Uh, say the barber gonna wake up around uh, <laughs> six or seven. Uh, we gonna uh, repeat some of our, some of my goals that I have in mind uh, every morning. We are gonna light our planner to see what we gonna do in that day. Uh, after that, we gonna eat and then uh, we gonna uh, do some work on some real estate. Cause that's where uh, I'm gonna do some side work with. And then I go to work. And then after uh, uh, work, I I will go to the gym. And then after the gym, we come come home and debrief, reflect on my day. Early in the morning, I'm able to uh, you know, work out, write, you know, which help helps me help me write a book. You know, record videos like I did for my YouTube channel. You know, everything's kind of focused now on helping barbers become better barbers because you know a barber helped me out so much in life. That's where my career and everything started. So you know, I love the travel, I love the freedom, and I love just the giving back to people. So that's what makes me rich. You know, so I work like at nine, but you know, there's been after hours where you're just hanging out with the barbers and talking it up, seeing how you can better your future. And, they just still continue and have that that main focus and don't lose track of it, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I felt like giving up the, the times of being in the garage, but at the end of the day, it's about putting it in their work. How does your environment contribute to your mindset? Um, huge. Uh, the barber team needs a lot. Uh, we're always focused on what's our next move. Um, not just as a team, but as individuals. Mm -hmm. um, that environment fosters growth. When you have people around you that are all pushing themselves, uh, we're reading books together, we, we, we make meetings and spend times together uh, to make sure we discuss certain things. You can't help but win. Okay, and did you come into the shop already knowing that, or did you learn new things on um, I think, being, I being think here? being here has added and enhanced kind of what I already knew. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, uh, you're looking through a glass window that's not clean and then somebody sprays some Windex on it, you can see clearly. Yeah. And I think being here has given me clear direction on my purpose. Yeah, I like the community, so that's, that's really important to me. It's a blessing because, you know, we all push each other. You know, Ty over there barring somebody up, Dunn barring somebody up, then I bar somebody not up. Not me. Dan, you know, you good too. <laughs> Dan, Daniel, Daniel be barring stuff up, so I think that when everybody really just, you know, does their own thing, it just pushes everybody to the next level. You can come in touch with people that want to make me get better and also trying to get them better. That team, I'm all about team. I'm all, I'm all about winning, you know what I'm saying? So I want everybody to win. Definitely coming to this environment, especially downtown, um, experiencing how much growth I can have in my career-wise as a barber. Um, definitely I'm working more towards having that ideal barber life right now. Okay, um, give a barber who isn't looking at um, I would definitely say definitely have an image of what you want that ideal barber life to be. Um, don't just kind of drift through um, being a barber. Um, definitely have a plan um, because once you have that ideal mindset, you can definitely map out what you want to be and how to get there. Good. Find him on Instagram at Deluxe. Deluxe Cuts. <laughs> okay, where can the people find you if they want to get in contact with you? Um, buy your, you know, pomade. 
Um, the best, probably the best way, I mean, everybody uses the best way is to go to Instagram. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is in my bio, uh, you have my website, donethebarber.com. And from there, you can book appointments. You can see my products, uh, what products coming out. You can buy products. Um, you can message me. So I think that's the best way to get in contact with me. That's the preferred way anyway. Okay. Yeah. Uh, where can the people find you? Uh, find me on Instagram. You can find me on YouTube. I have a documentary of my lifestyle on YouTube called The Documentary of My Barber Life. So check that out. Or you, you can just DM me, ask me questions. You know, I'll, I'll get back to you, answer whatever questions you have. Um, but uh, ultimately, you know, you gotta you gotta do things on your you gotta do things on your own. You gotta focus on uh, what what's your end goal, and, and just ask other barbers for help, and then we'll help. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us. Um, continue to grow, thinking about rich. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that's it for this week's episode of the Rich Barber TV Takeover. Thank you guys for joining me. Make sure you subscribe for more good game knowledge and information. Until next time.